There once lived a poor tailor named Mustafa in the great city of Chang'an. Mustafa worked very hard but remained poor. He could not even send his only son to school. Every day his son, Aladdin, played freely for hours and hours. Mustafa sent Aladdin away to learn how to be a merchant. But Aladdin never learned. Finally, after years of hard work and suffering, Mustafa became ill and died. Only after his father had died did Aladdin begin to understand. I don't want to be selling water for the rest of my life. One day, a famous magician named Afriki came from Morocco to search for a powerful magic lamp. An old book said the lamp was hidden near Cheyan. The book also said the lamp held a genie who granted wishes, but that only a young man named Aladdin could first go near the lamp. Aladdin, I am your uncle. Come, I will give you this gold coin. My nephew, I need your help now. <laughs> Said Afriki, trying to trick Aladdin. Afriki wanted the magic lamp for himself. The next day, Afriki took Aladdin to a high hill. He started a fire with wood, then sprinkled magic powder and chanted. Suddenly, the earth opened to reveal a steel door. Now listen carefully to what I say. Go down these stairs and pass through three rooms. You will find gold and treasure there. This I give to you. But most important is the old lamp in a balcony beyond these rooms. Bring the lamp to me, Afriki said. Deal! I will bring the lamp, but keep the treasure. Then my mother and I will be happy. Afriki gave him a magic ring in case of trouble. Aladdin went down the stairs. Wow! Beyond the three rooms, he found a lamp at the center of the last balcony. Aladdin took the lamp and some treasure and began to climb the stairs. Afriki called out. Give me the lamp! I must have it! Give it to me, boy! Aladdin began to get worried. What if he's lying to me? Let's test him and see. Afriki soon gave up. He put a spell on the doors to lock in Aladdin and went back to Morocco. Aladdin was left helpless in the dark, so he said a prayer. He accidentally rubbed the magic ream from a freaky. Suddenly... Ah! Does Master call a god? At your service. A small man came out of the ring. Get me out of here! The god of the ring transported Aladdin to safety. Hey, I can clean this lamp and sell it at the market for lots of food. Aladdin started to polish the lamp with a cloth. Then... Ha ha ha! My master! What is your wish? A large genie with a beard came from the lamp in a cloud of smoke. I am the genie of this lamp. I do as you command. Aladdin fell over in surprise. All right! Give me lots of food! Right away! Aladdin tested the genie with this command, and sure enough... No! A feast appeared larger than Aladdin could ever imagine. Wow, this is something! Aladdin was thrilled. 
He commanded the genie to make treasures and he began to sell them. One day, Aladdin saw the lovely Princess Badler. He fell in love at first sight and decided to make a special wish. I want to marry the princess. Give me emeralds, sapphires, and rubies to take to the Sultan as a gift. Aladdin went to the castle. Sultan, please let me marry Princess Badler. The jewels impressed the Sultan, but he would not let Aladdin marry the princess yet. The Sultan first demanded a mountain of pearls. Aladdin told the genie to conjure the pearls and went back to the castle. Excellent, Aladdin. You have done as I say. The wedding is tomorrow. Aladdin commanded the genie to create a beautiful castle decorated with jewels. Princess fell in love with Aladdin and the two lived happily. Everyone talked about the new palace, and Aladdin became known for helping the poor and the sick while thanking God. These stories reached Afriki, who was immediately jealous. He planned to take the lamp from Aladdin. Afriki visited the princess while Aladdin was away. Princess? I hear this castle has a dirty lamp. Why not exchange it for this lamp I have brought? The princess did not know the lamp was magic and traded it. Just as a freaky planned, he now had the lamp. He quickly used it. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the princess and the palace to Morocco! The princess and palace are mine! No! <laughs> no! Aladdin returned to find the castle and the princess gone. Aladdin called the god of the ring and commanded him to help. But the god only answered, I'm just not powerful enough. So Aladdin decided to fly with the god quickly to Morocco. They snuck into the castle at night. Oh, Aladdin, please rescue me. Africa wants to make me his wife. The two joined hands and smiled. <laughs> but they needed the lamp back right away. Aladdin poured sleeping powder into Afriki's wine. Then, while Afriki slept, Aladdin took back the magic lamp. He called forth the genie. Take Afriki to a mountain far away, where beasts will keep him from coming back. Then return to the palace to Ching An. Your wish is my command. So it shall be. Sultan, Afriki, the magician, took the princess to Morocco, but he has been punished, and I've brought her home. Oh! <laughs> the Sultan was overjoyed. They celebrated with a banquet and lived happily ever after. Aladdin became the Sultan of Chang'an, and the princess was his queen. <laughs>